Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all the praises and the glory to our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Rakotha Yahweh, Baasham, Yahweh Shai, Baasham, Rakar Kodash. We give double honors to our beloved teachers, our true teachers of Great Millstone, our apostles, our bishops and elders come down. Peace and salutations to our sincere brothers. Pushing this true doctrine throughout the four corners of the earth. Risking their lives week in and week out to feed the lost sheep of Israel. And Shalom to the elect, the 144 governing body of men. And Shalom to the rest of the elect, the one third. All the praises is forever given to Yahweh and his beloved son Yahweh Shai. Our man, so be true. So be true. Um, I've watched this lesson here, this very good lesson from Elder Apostle Gabar. And, um, When you, you know, speak to people, one main thing you must tell them that when you come to serve the Lord, it's not going to be easy, all right? It's not like peaches and cream. That is all that kind of love and happiness and, you know? And I've mentioned to a lot of people, that when you come to serve the Lord in sincerity, the proper way, your life is going to be turned upside down. And this is why our beloved Elder Apostle Gabar keeps on saying, you have to make sure what you're dealing with, you have to make sure what you're involved in. Okay? Like that song, it says, um, I beg your pardon. I never promised you a rose garden. Never promised. Okay? So this lesson that Elder Apostle Gabar did, I know he brought humor into it, but at the same time I know he is very serious. Very, very serious. Okay? And it's true, I grew up on a Monty Python as a boy growing up, and they're very funny, you know? Very, very funny. So, you know, you have to explain to people what you're getting into, all right? And this is why the, the scripture says that he that endureth to the end, right? He that endureth to the end, when Yahweh Shai gives you that crown, it's for a reason. Yeah? Yahweh Shai walked the earth and he knows what it felt. He knows that we have what we are going through. Right? To believe in him and trust in him and serve him, you know, to the best of our ability. Remember the scripture says that the servant is not is not paraphrasing, is not great as his master. Yeah, and Yahusha knows what we are going through. Okay, um, scene from Monty Python's The Life of Brian Kyra, 1979, provokes one to ask. We're the aliens, angels. And yeah, they are angels. Yeah. And they are so-called black men too. Okay. And one part of it too, the clip that the elder apostle Gabar had shown us, um, when they saw the, um, the, 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 the chariot crashing. All right. 
And, you know, chariots will never crash. Never crash. Yeah? So, let's play. I'm going to play a very important part what Elder Apostle um, Gabar mentioned, you know, when he spoke about Elder Apostle Hartu. Yeah? And this is what he called, you know, endurance because the apostles, what they've been through for all these many years and they're still enduring, there has to be the spirit of the Lord working in them. All right? But when you explain to people coming to this truth, you tell them a lot of things about the call of the Lord, you know, the basics, you make sure you tell them that your life is going to be turned upside down. Yeah? And our beloved Elder Pastor Ha always mentioned that you have to learn to live. Learn to live and to love the pain that you're going through. Yeah, I'm just paraphrasing, I'm not saying it word for word. But every single brother in this truth knows exactly what Elder Pastor Ha had said, you know. Okay? So when you come to serve the Lord, Definitely not. It's going to be a rose garden. No way. So Lord Winning, now gonna play a little bit of this very edifying lesson from Eldor Apostle Gabar. Yeah. So this character Brian was trying to imitate a man that had a hard life. How was I when he was on the planet Earth? He had a hard life, man. He had a hard life. Okay. He, he, it seemed like sometimes it seemed like he just couldn't catch a break. That's wait, let me prove it. How am I straightened? This is my favorite scripture. Oh, please let me find it. How am I straightened? Please let me find it. Please, please. There it is right here. Yeah, I wish I had a hard life. So it, when Brian. According to the film, The Life of Brian, when Brian tried to imitate Yahweh Shai, which is what the film is about. You, you heard what the pastor said. When you watch the film, you see that. When he tried to imitate Yahweh Shai, his life became hard. Brian, he couldn't catch a break. He was being chased by, by uh, uh, he was first delivered by a spaceship, then being chased by another spaceship, which destroyed the spaceship he was in. Then when he came back to Earth, he was chased by Roman soldiers. I mean, the man just couldn't get a break. <laughs> And if you notice, right, if you notice that um, when that ship had crashed and he came out, one of the men said to him, oh, you lucky bastard, you know what I mean? And that was funny, but um, that just shows you that, you know, as it says in the scriptures, um, paraphrasing, um, the, the righteous just scarcely be saved right scarcely be saved you know and and another reason why this is so spiritual how Elder Apostle Gabar had did this video is because I had a dream last night and, and I tell you what it was not pleasant it was not pleasant dream period I've never, ever, ever had a dream like that before. All right? And it's it's just frightening all the way. From the beginning to the end, it was frightening all of the way. Yeah? Terrifying. That's the life, the life that we live, man. We live the same kind of life, man. A hard life. This is Luke 12 and 49. I am come to say. And you see, you see our elder apostle, Kabar. He's dead serious. Right? Always making light to it. Because remember it says, because I think he's going to mention that you must take it cheerfully. Whatever's put upon you, you have to take it cheerfully. And that's where Elder Pastor Tahar says that 
you have to um, love it. You know what I mean? Take it cheerfully, you know, whatever's put upon us. Yeah? So although you're hearing Elder Apostle Gabal making light of it, he knows what it's like to go through that hell. Yeah? Fire on the earth, and what will I... If it be already kindled, yeah, because by the time Yahweh Shai comes, if, you know, you're going to have all kind of hell breaking loose. All right? All kind of fires all over the place. Race wars, race riots. Oh, um, uh, World War Three will be in, 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 in uh, the commencement of World War Three will begin by the time Yahweh Shai come back to the planet Earth. Okay? And then Yahweh Shai going to bring his own brand of fire. Luke 12 and 50, here's the point. But I have a baptism to be baptized with. What is he talking about? He's talking about being in this knowledge, this truth. Like us, we have the baptism. We've been baptized. We've been baptized by the Holy Spirit, man. Okay, we have this knowledge. We have this truth. That's truth. That's it. That's evidence of us, of our baptism in Yahweh Shai. So Yahweh Shai said, but I have a baptism to be baptized with. And how am I straightened till it be accomplished? There you go. How am I burdened? That's what Yahweh Shai is saying. He lived a life of burdens. Let's read the NLT. I have a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me. There you go. And it, it, is it not written, arm yourselves likewise with the sufferings of Yahweh Shai? So there you go. You people that desire, you want to be in the truth, you want to come and serve the, the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, <laughs> you better know what you're in for, man. You better know what you're in for. Uh, Ecclesiasticus, the second chapter, my son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take cheerfully and be patient when you are changed to a lower state. That's what the scripture says. So you better know what you're in for, man. <laughs> you're going to live the life of Brian. <laughs> uh, let me stop. I have a terrible baptism of suffering ahead of me. And I am... And I am under a heavy burden until it is accomplished. Huh? So beware of any Israelite showing you this truth in rose-colored glasses. Beware of any Israelite that shows you this truth in rose-colored glasses. That gives you the impression that when you come and serve the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, is going to be... And, that, and to back up Elder Apostle, Gabar, if I may... You know, it's true because this scripture, the, the book, the Holy Scriptures is the, you have to eat the whole roll and you have to teach the whole roll. You have to tell the people exactly what it's about. There's a good side. You, you talk about the honey, right? And you talk about the bitter. You have to tell them the bitter. You have to tell them the bitter. I never knew all this. This is why you have to be retaught. You have to be retrained. Right? You have to put off the old man. You have to start all over again. Okay? That's very serious. Uh, a life of uh, roses, bouquet, a bouquet of roses, right? It's going to be a life of peaches and cream. You're going to be in the truth wearing rose-colored glasses. Okay? The term rose-colored glasses, I got that from a song by... Um, it's a country and western song by uh, the artist was named John Conley. It's one of my favorites. Rose-colored glasses. Like he says in the song, show only the beauty, but they hide the truth. So beware of any guy who tries to teach you this knowledge and tries to make you wear rose-colored glasses concerning this knowledge. It's anything but, man. You gonna you thought you caught, caught hell in the world. <laughs> Coming to this truth, you're really going to know what hell is all about. You're going you're gonna to be seeing demons, man. Elder Pastor always talks about how he sees demons, you know, and demons are plaguing him. And he's used to it, you know. That man, pff, I know for facts, I've been in the in the company of that man for many years. I've seen the shit he's gone through. Facts, man. <laughs> I wouldn't want his lot. Hell no. I'm content with the lot that I have. Trust me, okay. <laughs> I'm content with the lot that I have in this thing of ours. So, uh, 
there it is then. And you know, over the year, years when I hear brothers talking about demons plaguing them, plaguing their mind, plaguing their body, just believe what they're saying is true. It's not a pleasant feeling when you're plagued with these spirits. It's not a nice feeling. Yeah? But like it's, as, as it said in scriptures, what the Lord put upon you, you take it cheerfully, you know, and be patient. And that is long suffering. Long suffering is patience. You know? And we have to keep strong through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. There's no way we could do it on our own. No way. I have proven what I said concerning Yahushai, right? Luke 12 and 50. Okay, so let's get back to Isaiah 66, 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. So that... And, and that day that is coming, which will come, it will come, that is not going to be a pleasant time. Right? Can you remember the righteous is going to be scarcely saved? So like if I said it wrong, the righteous, imagine, scarcely, okay, it's not going to be easy, definitely not, not going to be easy, it's not meant to be easy, that's why these, these Christians, so-called Christians, talk about the rapture and all that kind of stuff, right, they are unlearned, Okay. And I'm on the milk. I'm still on the milk. And I'm telling you, I know for a fact that I learned from, through our apostles that yes, listen, this walk is not an easy walk. You have to go through hell. Okay. Just like World War Three, In order to have peace, you have to have war. And we have to go through war in the flesh, in the body, everything. War in the mind, plague of everything. We have to go through hell in order to, Lord willing, enter into the kingdom of heaven. Okay? So anybody talking any bull fucking shit that we're in the new covenant? Okay? The fucking hell we are feeling there. The hell that brother's going through. You feel the hell that brother's going through. You feel it. When you love a brother, you feel the hell he's going through also. And you're going through the hell also. I'm paraphrasing it. One of the scriptures that you, you know, you take on brother's burdens or something like that. Right? Because you're feeling, when you love a brother, you feel their pain and their suffering. That's a part of the walk too. The real brotherhood. Yeah? The person that left that comment, if they only knew. This person right here, uh, uh, Jolie, whatever. You see the comment. So please, Baba Kusha, you know, watch this video. Yeah? Elder Apostle Gabar. Is only 30, what, 37 minutes long and change. And I tell you what, <laughs> powerful, powerful, right? And it's edifying and this is also comforting. It is comforting. All the praise is, is given to Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Rock of the Yahweh, Basham, Yahushai, Basham, Rekakadash. And Thawada, Yahweh Basham for setting up men, holy men, to guide us through. You know, Thawada Yahweh Basham Yeah. And love and peace to you, brothers. You know, fighting. Fighting for your crown. Okay? Continue to fight for your crown. 
And the only how you do it is through the, the mercy and the love yeah, of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Shalom. Hope and pray that it's edifying. And please watch that video, Elder Possum. Um, it started first initially with Elder Pastor Har, and then Elder Pastor Gabar did, did something after. Okay? Shalom. Love to you all. Right? And we pray that we enjoy to the end. Shalom.